There's more than just people to vote for on the ballot on this election day. Floridians also voting on a proposal to lift the state's wage floor to $15 per hour by the year 2026. Our Eric Waxler joining us live on this issue on Indian Rocks Beach to break down this amendment. Eric. Hey, Paul, restaurants like this one, Krabby Bill's on Indian Rocks Beach are the type of businesses that are really watching this very closely. They would be the most affected if Amendment 2 passes and raises the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Although this will happen incrementally, uh, next year it would go up to $10 an hour and uh, move up from there. That would happen in September. Those pushing for the wage increase include a group called Florida for a Fair Wage, led by attorney John Morgan, and Florida for $15, representing millions of fast food employees, hospital workers, janitorial, farming, and nursing home workers who say they are essential and putting their lives on the line during this pandemic. Several other states have brought the pay floor up to $15 an hour, but opponents like restaurant and hotel associations, chamber of commerce groups, they say it would lead to layoffs, less hours for workers, and even businesses being forced to close, especially those still reeling from the pandemic shutdowns. Well, you know, I've just tried to take the stance, and we as a business, is not so much how it affects us as a business, but how it affects our customers and the people that work on our team. Uh, and we just feel like the, the impacts of it are actually going to hurt the people that is intended to help, and it will also have a tremendous impact on the people who call Florida home. I'm a business person. If they want to learn about business, come talk to me, because I'll tell what I'm going to tell them is this. Pay your people fairly. You'll attract better people. You won't have turnover and you'll make more money doing the right thing. Now, economy experts we talked to say that uh, the minimum wage increase will, of course, help some, but could also hurt others. And there may be better ways to help improve people's situations by uh, putting money towards job training programs or helping them find new careers. Live in Pinellas County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Eric, thank you.